A new study just uncovered something chilling. One everyday fat that we all have consumed doesn't just raise cholesterol, it turns off your body's built-in cancer defense system. Within days, the immune cells that normally destroy cancer stop moving. They stop fighting, stop protecting you. And here's the part that stunned researchers. It wasn't caused by some obscure chemical or synthetic additive. It came from something far more familiar, the same creamy fat sitting in most refrigerators right now. Scientists at the NIH and Mass General wanted to know why this happens. So they tracked how different fats, animal versus plant, change the way your immune system behaves. What they discovered completely rewrites what we thought we knew about healthy fats. Researchers fed obese mice two different high fat diets, but they had the same calories, the same amount of fat. Both caused obesity, but one diet used butter, lard, and beef tallow, which were the animal fats. The other used coconut oil, palm oil, and olive oil, the plant fats. Then they decided to inject both groups with a cancer, melanoma. The results were stunning. The plant fat group's tumor grew much slower. The animal fats group's tumors exploded, despite being just as obese. Palm oil even boosted anti-tumor immunity. That wasn't expected. They expected all the seed oils to be the villain, but the real culprit was hiding in plain sight. So what's actually happening here? Scientists wanted to know, so they tried to figure it out. They isolated the immune cells to watch how they behaved in different fat environments. Under normal conditions, these cells quickly recognized and destroyed cancer cells, exactly what they're supposed to do. But once they were exposed to steric acid, the main saturated fat and butter, everything changed. Their activity slowed and then stopped. The immune cells froze up. The cancer cells survived. And it was like the body defenses just simply shut off. When researchers looked closer, they found the immune cells from butter-fed mice were all bloated with fat droplets and they could no longer function properly anymore. The plant-fed mice, they were normal. The control group, normal. Only butter caused this kind of immune cell paralysis. Before we go any further though, here's what's actually being paralyzed so you can kind of break this all down because this part matters. Every day, your cells make new copies of themselves. A few tiny DNA mistakes might slip by. Most of these are harmless, but some can turn a normal cell into a potential cancer cell. Your immune system has specialized defenders. These are natural killer cells and CBD8 T cells, and they work 24 seven as a security team. They patrol constantly finding and destroying those faulty cells before they become a problem. But when those fats overload your system, your immune guards are still there, but they see the threat. But what happens is their radios and their weapons stop firing and stop working and cancer cells just walk right past them. Here's what's happening behind the scenes. When you eat animal fats like butter, your body converts certain fatty acids into molecules that act like internal breaks, immune suppressors that shut down your killer cells and your T cells. The researchers identified one in particular, steroidal carnitine, a byproduct of steric acid in butter. It disrupts the mitochondria inside immune cells, their powerhouses, leaving them too weak to function. When they measured tumor size over time, the results were clear. A standard diet showed baseline growth. Palm oil diets were nearly the same. The butter diet, all the tumors accelerated dramatically. Same body weight, same calories, completely different cancer progression. It's not the amount of fat, it's actually the type of fat. Here's the twist. Palm oil, long demonized for its saturated fat, actually protected against tumors. But butter, often considered cleaner, accelerated them. After seeing these dramatic effects in mice, researchers wanted to know if the same thing showed up in people. So they turned to one of the largest nutritional studies ever done, a 30-year project published in JAMA Internal Medicine that followed more than 220,000 adults to see how the fats they ate affected long-term health. And the numbers were striking. Higher butter intake was linked to higher mortality, but swapping just two teaspoons of butter for plant oils, like olive oil or avocado oil, 
had about a 17% lower risk. And when they looked specifically at cancer deaths, the risk was about 11% lower for people using plant oils instead of butter. That's nearly one in six lives potentially changed by one small daily swap. So what about the other fats in your kitchen? Animal fats like butter, lard, beef, tallow, and ghee were all problematic in this research. Plant fats told a totally different story. Olive oil was protective. Palm oil boosted immunity. Coconut oil was protective despite being over 80% saturated fat. Avocado, canola, and soybean oils were all linked to lower mortality in human data. The pattern is obvious. It's not saturated versus unsaturated. It's animal versus plant. Animal fats create immune suppressing byproducts. Plant fats don't. So what should we actually do with this information? If you're concerned about cancer, inflammation, or immunity, swap butter for olive, avocado, or other plant-based oils. You don't have to go low fat, just choose a smarter fat. Saute with olive oil instead of butter, roast with avocado oil, drizzle olive oil on bread instead of drizzling butter. Small swaps can make a big difference. Now, I know what you're thinking. I thought saturated fat was good now. It's fair. The debate's complicated though, but the source matters more than saturation. Coconut oil didn't harm immunity. Butter did. Then we have what about the French paradox? They eat butter. Sure, but smaller portions, more plants, more walking, and France's cancer rates, middle of the pack in Europe. And then there's, isn't this just correlation? Researchers control for smoking, exercise, BMI, and diet quality, and the link still held strong. And the mouse data shows why. We can literally see immune cells shutting down. And then you might ask, what if I'm on keto? These weren't ketogenic diets. The mice weren't in ketosis. If you are, you can still use plant fats, olive, avocado, coconut, and hit your macros without the immune suppression. This isn't anti-fat, it's pro-smart fat. Now, full transparency, this mouse study looked at melanoma, not all cancers, and the human data was observational, not interventional. But together, mechanisms plus population evidence the signals are pretty clear. Different fats, different immune reality. Your immune system protects you every minute of every day. Maybe it's time you stop accidentally sabotaging it. A simple swap, better outcomes. And this was all science back. Your immune system never stops fighting for you. Now you know how to fight for it. What will you choose? This is Dave. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.